something and they are returning, not empty-handed they are going. Something. And I want it. I am especially very happy that oh, one of the hands of oh, Raman Swamiji, that is Siddha Bhakti Vedanta Swami, who did so many things. Oh, he is here. Oh, Bhagwan Prabhu ki jai! And not only him, with the whole family, his sister, uh, his daughter, his wife, his wife, and son. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Senior and junior, both Bhagwan are here. <laughs> so, thanks to them to come and inspire. For last day, did a good kirtan. Oh, today I am requesting to speak two words about question of preaching and how we do And his sympathy should be always good. He's very experienced, very bold, all right, organized, and we want him to have. We don't want that he should be in the well Come out in the Preaching or speaking about the absolute truth. It becomes preaching when it touches the heart. Otherwise, the words are used to speak at a person instead of to the person. And the wise words of sadhus speak to the real person who's underneath all the layers of ego from many, many births. And when the person is actually touched by those words, could be the words of a child or the words of an elderly spiritual teacher such as Gurudev, change occurs. This is a time in the world where change is needed. Change is needed within the family to make it stronger, with, with friendships to make them stronger, and as Prabhupada said, even up to the politicians to make them stronger. Once the heart is actually touched, as Prabhupada said, one person can change the world. And that's actually all he was really looking for. And I think that <clears throat> he would be very proud and happy to see the way that his 
Shiksha disciple and his friend, Srila Narayan Maharaj, has touched so many people. How he has helped heal their wounds by his words and made them smile again and made them hear again and made them believe that Krishna, Krishna's eyes actually see them and Krishna's ears actually hear them. So, for whatever it's worth from me, I thank you for being so patient and persistent to keep the growth going. Thank you. Sadhu Sangha Nam Kirtan Bhagavat Shravani Maturava Srimurti Re Shaddhaya Sevane um, When Mahabharata taught Sanatan Goswami all the principles, the Bhakti Yangas, the first he taught ten yamas or things that were positive and should be done, and then ten that were negatives or that shouldn't be done, and then thirty. Thirty-five, I think, more general principles of bhakti. And Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur says that within one of those principles, Archan, there were four more making thirty-nine. But then the, the list is completed with the five that I just quoted, which are, as you all know, association with the sadhu, the kirtan of the holy name, the study of Srimad Bhagavatam, residing in a holy place, and the worship of Sri Murti. Some people say that of all of them, kirtan is most important, because for kirtan, because for remembrance to occur, kirtan must precede it. But more importantly is that every one of those five principles of bhakti, they're called shrestha, which means they're the best of all principles of bhakti. And for every one of the, the subsequent four to occur, the first one is absolutely necessary. Sadhu Sangha. So, Krishna Bhakti Janma Mulahai Sadhu Sangha. Krishna Prem Janme Punak Mukti. Puna Mukyanga. Uh, Mukya, that means that it's primary. Mukya means the first thing, the more important thing. So more important than all other principles for Krishna Bhakti. Krishna Bhakti Janmamul means the very root source, the original cause of Bhakti is Sadhu Sangha. And the second part of the verse means that in order to maintain that bhakti, in order to actually have prem bhakti, the very same principle, puna, again the same thing is mentioned, sadhu sangha. So everything is ignited and given energy by that single principle. And I don't know the great fortune of all the devotees here. Of course, I tend to think, oh, we're so lucky, but there was another crowd the same size, you know, one town back. And then another one the same size just prior to that. And I know that Gurudev goes town to town speaking to crowds this size and inspiring them all like he has us here. So, as Bhagavan Prabhu said, thank you very much for keeping us growing individually and internally and collectively as a family of devotees. Uh, <coughs> we are we are so happy to have Gurudev come here. We have been so enlivened 
we want to continue this. Is it, is it, he's brought back the mood of a large family. We're all so happy. Uh, I hope this can continue our whole life and uh, we can continue to grow as a family. And this, uh, the essence of this whole thing is bhakti. Bhakti is, is love and he is giving that to us. Uh, I'm uh, personally inviting everyone to come year after year here and uh, I'm hoping to continue to serve you. Um, along with my family members. All glories to Shri Guru Dev. You shall come forward. And two words. I'm not very qualified to speak, but somehow or another I'm crying. I can't keep from crying. And I just pray, O oh Guru Tang, please be merciful to me. Well, I want to tell one really short story about when I first met Srila Gurudev. It was in 1979, and uh, Srila Prabhupada had left, and I was pretty desolate, and I was wandering around Vrindavan, and someone told me to go to Mathura, because that's where Srila Prabhupada had taken sannyas. So I went there, and one brahmachari was sitting there and told me a beautiful story about our Srila Prabhupada, which I don't have time to tell right now. But then he said, oh, and in this room right down the hall here is Srila Narayan Maharaj. Would you like to meet him? So I, he said, he is your Gurudev's very good friend. So I went in there and I paid my obeisances and he said, oh, how are you? And I said, really bad. <laughs> and he said, why? Why, why bad? I said, because our Gurudev's gone and I, we, we, I don't know what to do. And there's so many difficulties and it looks pretty bleak. And he said, no, never will be bleak. He said, you will never be separated from your Gurudev. Nothing can disturb us, no matter what happens. Even if there's some difficult years, don't be weak. You wait and something very wonderful will happen. <laughs> so little did I know that 15 years or 20 years later, he himself would come to fulfill that prophecy in my life and in most of our lives. So it just keeps getting better and better. Thank you, Sri Nagurde. Guru Vigoga Sambraya Radhika Ari Sadami Krishna Ari Krishna Bhattaya Kalu Bhattaya I'm very happy. Come here. I will be more happy. I want to come next year also. This, this will be the center of our preaching in America. We want to teach juniors also that they can be very strong and they can preach the mission of your Srila Prabhupada, my Siksha Guru, Swamiji, Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti, Siddhan, Saspati, Oru, Goswami and Mahaprabhu mission. This is the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, <coughs> I'm very happy that oh, so many good things have become here. Now, our preaching is coming in a very, in a, what? Uh, or like, uh, yes, like organized system now coming, grace way. Our books are coming so many, like Swamiji himself he did. All my books are, uh, what, supplementary to 
by Shiksha Guru books. And now, in a systematic way, oh, the devotees are going to distribute everywhere, like his books they did. This will be the main part of our preaching. And also to preach, Nagarshan Kirtan also do. And just to try to help all the devotees who are weak. Yes. Sometimes nearby to your where you are living, make some meetings of the devotees. In a special day, like uh, Janmashtami or Chaturdashi Krishna Chatur, the birth um, day of your Guru Dev, um, like all other things, and meet together and discuss Jaiva Dharma or the books of Swamiji and other books also, and be more what, strong. Don't think that we are weak, like she told. Guru never <coughs> died. Never, never, never. He is always. Where you pray him or advance him. Even the soul never dies. No birth date of soul. So why it will be of Gurudev, his real life soul? He was. He is still here. And he is here. And he is very happy to see that all are now inspired so much. So please help me in this mission that we can preach more others. Though I have left chanting, they have no now belief, or oh, again they should come and join this movement. They should be happy. This was the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that he went everywhere in India. On foot, on feet he went. No, at that time, uh, anything like a no vehicle, not car or uh, aeroplanes or anything. And he went from town to town, from city to city, all over India, especially in south and also in Vrindavan area. Coming from Puri and inspiring all the animals even, elephants and tigers, bears and all. So, <coughs> try to be more strong and also to preach the mission in the whole body. You should be happy and others should be happy. This is the message of Sri Chaitanya. Oh, in seven days, we have discussed so many things, very beautiful things. The real message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the real message of Sri Krishna Dvaipa and Veda Vyas Sukhdev Goswami, so many things. Especially the teachings of Chi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Shastak, and so many things here and there. You should try to follow. If you are not following, you are not doing daily your Guru Mantra and chanting, reducing this. Means this is your death. Never let let them. They will, I have told that they can make, oh, give money also. Reputation also, worldly sense gratification they can get, but they know that these are poisons, so mercifully they don't give. So this is their mercy, and especially name is not different from oh, Krishna and Radha. Name is himself. very powerful than Krishna himself and Radha herself. So believe in this and go on chanting. Oh, they will fulfill all your desires and they can remove all the bad desires from you very quickly. And in the last week, I explained Tannam Rupa Charitadi Sukhattananu Kramena Rasana Manasi Tishthan Praje Tadanuragi Jananuragi Kalampar Kai Dakhilamitu. Be in Vrindavan. If you cannot be by body or by mind also, you can be there. In the guidance of high, highly learned, highly uh, realized, and knowing all this Siddhant and also Rashik in Vrindavan Vidya. 
in their guidance chant and remember the sweet pastimes of Krishna, especially having four qualities. Tanatapi sumi chena, tarurapi sahisuna, amanina, maadhi, kritya. Treat like a cross of bread. Tanatapi sumi chena. Very humble, very humble. These worldly egos are nothing, nothing. Oh, if you are very, very sick, all out of me, everything is done. In a moment it can be changed. So don't have any false ego. Be tina dafi shuni, taro rapi sahisunna, tolerance like trees, everything for others, like Haridas Thakur, like trees, Fruits, branches, wood, shade, oh, uh, fruit, flowers, birds, even that box, everything is for others. So we should, devotees should be like that, more than that. Give proper respect to all Vaishnavas, <coughs> thinking they are all in our family those who are chanting Hare Krishna. Whether they are in, what, in initiated or not, with proper respect. If they are horse, horse means? Horse. Speaking. Oh, no, no horse. You should talk. Give proper respect to them. And you should think that I am not qualified to have any honor from others. I am very, very, very foreign in this way. And you should come in your natural habit, in your uh, constitutional form is that you should honor all. If no honor, you are getting proper then, and you want your oh, then section maker. And that is going on in this world. These are very bad things. You should try to give up all this. Be very humble, try to give honor to all, and always chanting, remember, don't less, uh, make less chanting, your chanting and your doing. Don't reduce. Don't reduce. Don't curtail, curtail all, all other things. Sleeping, mountain talkings and other things. But don't curtail your chanting name and Guru Mantra. This we do. Especially the Kupal Mantra. Come back to are very, very powerful. But Krishna, Hare Krishna is not mantra. Embodiment of Radha and Krishna himself, Radha and Krishna. So, you should have explained so many things about it. Even I have not told anything. Very short. So, you should know all these things. And gradually develop your. Oh, Krishna consciousness. I have given a barometer, barometer, to check in how much water you are, and how your bhakti is going on. Really bhakti or bhakti abhas or opposite of bhakti, and try to be this I have told everything, now you should try to follow all these things and be happy and make others happy. Go, Prima. Oh, one thing. Oh, a girl of what? It, it has been to be given? Oh, yeah, grandson. Grandson. Oh, they should come here. Yeah. Okay. One thing. Okay. Yeah. Please come with us to West Bengal, to the village of Krishnapur, Arisaptagram. The year is 1518. We will join the two brothers, Haranya and Govardhan Majumdar, the uncle and father of the young Raghunath 